Pisces, welcome to your just in time tarot reading. If you're watching this Pisces, trust that there is a message here for you. If you're a regular, welcome back Pisces. I'm so grateful for you being here. And if you're new, welcome. My name is Bronya and I'm an intuitive tarot reader and looking forward to bringing you through this message. If you do enjoy the message, please do like, share, comment, and most importantly, hit the subscribe button. It, it really does help us creators keep these uh, videos coming. Okay. So I've pulled the harmony card. Oh, by the way, I'm going to I'm going to frame up the couple of oracles, all right? And then we'll hit up the full tarot. But we've got harmony, harmony in the heart. So maybe a situation is coming into balance, coming into harmony. Maybe you personally within your being, within your vitality, within your health, um, is coming into internal homeostasis or, or balance here. So I, I really love this. I also sort of see that a uh, bubble of protection around you. There might be some kind of protection energy. You might need to protect your energy by holding, you know, your boundaries. Let's keep diving in. Uh, I'm using the uh, Divine Initiation Oracle, the Ethereal Alchemist Tarot today. You will find a link down below if you want to check out the different um, decks that I use in my readings. I'm kind of fussy with which ones I choose. I love really uh, beautiful tarot decks, uh, being an ex-graphic designer myself. Okay, I have the Awakening. Wow, okay, so you're awakening to something, awakening to a truth. You might be uh, going through an awakening within your, you know, your spirituality. Um, I feel like we've got a bit of a, an energy sort of level up here. Uh, someone that you're dealing with might be awakening as well. Might be awakening to the part that you've played in your situation where you find yourself right now. So let's uh, dive into the full tarot here, Pisces. Awakening, harmony, right? Heart chakra opening for some of you, maybe being able to receive, you know, love or receive a level up within your being, which of course ripples out and has you magnetized situations. Okay, I have pulled the five of cups for you and you know, this can be that you've you know navigated a loss or a disappointment, right? And that could have caused you, you know, emotional dysregulation, even, you know, sometimes anxiety, depression with the five of cups. But that is completing now and you're coming into balance and coming into harmony. Like this is your point of change, Pisces. And the message behind the five of cups is that there is new connections, new possibilities and opportunities ready when you are and maybe you're a sort of awakening to that you know closing out a grief cycle yeah absolutely page of cups i mean the page of cups is the messenger of opportunity that brings us the ace of cups the emotional new beginning and it can be a, a little bit of an unexpected energy or you know like the first of a, a series of fated events that shifts your life in some way so i think the universe has really just been waiting for you pisces to kind of navigate through whatever this process has been and for some of you it might not have been you know grief because of loss of a you know a breakup or a job or a situation but it might have been a period where you've kind of lost your joy or you've been really sort of considering like you know what is this life what is my purpose like going through a little bit of a dark night of the soul or existential crisis but we've got a messenger of opportunity or something here a fatal event that begins shifting that for you but just before that, I think that there is some kind of breakthrough in your energy, like coming out of that darkness into a little bit more harmony. Yeah, Eight of Cups, you're moving on from that and moving forward, right? You, you, you're you completing the journey through the emotional waters. Now, uh, one of the messages of the Eight of Cups, like in the traditional right away cards, we see eight cups stacked at the front and there is like a, a hole missing like there's a hole where another cup slots in now the missing piece right the page has the missing piece so something's going to happen that i feel either like is a big penny drop moment or an epiphany or that you find what you've been searching for that could be in the form of a new job opportunity. That could be in the form of a beautiful new friend or a beautiful new romance or a new home or something like that. Whatever caused that disarmament harmony. And then you'll you'll have that hindsight. Well, this is what the universe was preparing me for, you know, all along. Hanged woman is here. And I think that you are about to leave this period of stagnancy. 
Right. The thing is that the hanged man um, it, it moves or releases when that moment of awakening, that moment of clarity comes in. And the next stage on from that is the death energy, which is the scorpionic energy. We are in Scorpio season of uh, transformation, of rebirth, but it's normally through letting go of a way of being or a situation or transforming for the better. Yeah. And the universe. Wow. It's like really, um, it's really powerful energy. So this one here, guys, is the very last of the major arcana cards, of which there's 22 in the sequence. It's the world, but it's called the universe in this particular deck. And what comes before this is final judgment which is actually a liberation energy or a resurrection of self, a res resurrection of a situation. And the universe talks about an expansive new cycle opening up. It is important for you to be, you know, really in your feeling center, in your heart, in your, your vulnerable power here to be able to, you know, receive whatever this opportunity is or really connect with this fated event because, you know, the universe is working that magic around us all the time, but sometimes we actually, you know, we miss it or, you know, we miss the, the opportunity, we miss the magic in it. So I just think there is such an incredible cycle shift coming for you. Like the world is, it's a, it's a huge end of an era and beginning of a new one. Like it could be 10 years, could be 20 years, like a massive cycle shift for you. And whatever that page of cups is, that is the first, you know, step that opens up seven of cups to a world of possibilities that really can land, you know, for you. Yeah, Ace of Swords, that's the breakthrough. Like there is a profound breakthrough that is coming in for you. That it really is your true victory. Like I just love the look of this card. It's like something piercing through, right? Something is going to pierce through that bubble. Maybe you have been sort of um, in a hermit mode or insulating yourself and going through a bit of a process or a healing journey, something like that. But now the sword is piercing through. This is your breakthrough. Somebody is entering in with the peace that you need. And I think you're ready to say yes to this. You're ready for your next cycle. This is your awakening. And I just think this is so powerful for you. So I'm going to leave it there, Pisces. I hope you enjoyed this uh, quick little tune in. Very exciting energy. Um, if you'd like to follow up with a personal reading, the first link below is always to my website where you'll find out what I offer there. Um, there's other useful links. I'll link you to my Instagram and TikTok accounts. I'm very active and interactive on those platforms as well with uh, different daily content. And I'm just going to wish you all the love and magic. I will see you back here next week. Bye for now.